Hello. Hello. Hi. My name is Chloe. What's yeah. your My name is Priya. Priya. I'm nice to meet you. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Yeah, I'm from India. You're from India. Ah, oh, nice. I'm That's from England. Part. Okay, great, great. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> nice to uh, meet you. Uh, sorry for my... Uh, can you please repeat your name? Uh, I didn't catch it. Oh, my name, Chloe. Okay, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the time like now in the London? Time. Um, it, it's, it's almost 12 o'clock. Oh, my, it's nine minutes it's, to 12. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. It's the afternoon, right? <laughs> yeah, almost afternoon. Yeah. What mm -hmm. time is it there? In India, it's almost like around like 4.30, like 4.30 oh. p.m. Oh, it's later yeah, in the day. Oh, nice. Yeah. And what's the weather like today? Yeah, it's summer here. Oh, like, so. it's so, uh, yeah, it's hot and humid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's summer here too, but it's not hot and humid. <laughs> okay. Today is yeah, a bit grey today. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, so, how yeah. long have you been what? learning English? Yeah, actually... Um, <laughs> from my childhood I've been learning English and actually I'm working as an English trainer in oh, India so, oh, nice. yeah, yeah. so I teach uh, IELTS, TOEFL, PT these are all English language proficiency tests so I teach them uh, to not only students in India but also overseas uh, I mean especially Indians who stay in London or any other part of the world like Dubai or like in Australia, mm -hmm. so the people they contact me through mail or via uh, different oh. online portals. Oh yeah. wow! How how? What about you? What do you teach on Cambly? Um, on Cambly, so I do some of the kids courses, and then I do okay. yes yeah, some different some different adult ones. So yeah, so oh, okay. like consecutively, I've I've worked in like teaching. Have you heard of first aid? Yeah, I've heard of first aid. So, like, if you hurt yourself, what to do? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. so I do that, and I also like to it's kind of an emergency thing that you will do at home, right? Yeah. So it's a first thing that you would do. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah, so I teach things like that, and this is on yeah. other things like how to lift properly. <laughs> but also, I worked in um, I worked in like a corporate environment as well, so I cover things like business English and. Lots okay okay you teach business english and all uh okay then that's great i have a few questions for you okay. so can i ask you a few questions yeah yeah of course it's actually for my viewers because i i am a youtuber i have two channels mm -hmm. so one is on ielts completely where i teach uh, especially in my regional language that's telugu mm -hmm. so as you know india is a multilingual mm -hmm. country right so we have different languages so ours is different language where we teach in that and I just have a couple of questions for you, like in the business English, like um, how uh, you can present yourself when you're talking to a colleague or might be to a boss. So what's that one thing which is very important uh, when you're in the office or working at, uh, or, or uh, like how you can make yourself comfortable? So and at the same time, look professional. Comfortable when when speaking with a uh, when speaking especially especially when speaking with your um so generally so you have some language in English which is more polite than others so instead of like if you were requesting something you wouldn't say oh I yeah. want this <laughs> you wouldn't talk like this to your colleagues or your manager yeah, yeah. You, it might. Rude. Yeah, it could come across rude and demanding and it's not good for relationships. So you have to use certain phrases um, which make you come across like you're more understanding and you're, um, you're more cooperative to like work with. So you might say yeah. things like, I would like to request. Yeah. Um, yeah, and quite yeah. often managers or those in senior positions don't have a lot of time. So if you're speaking with them, recognizing or acknowledging that they don't have a lot of time and that you appreciate that. <laughs> so this is often quite commonly like this. So say like, I appreciate that you're very busy, but, um, and then you have okay. to usually 
um, we say to speak succinctly. So we need to say what we need to say, but in as short words as possible. <laughs> so that's okay, what they like. Yeah. They don't like. Um, it could be, I mean, precise and crisp and, crisp clear, and clear, not too long. Yeah, not too yeah. long. Don't, because in English as well, um, people here have a tendency to use many words to explain something which could be used in a few words. So yeah, always speaking yeah. clearly and succinctly, getting to the point, even if that means taking a few moments to get to the point. Right. Yeah. And always using things like, obviously like please, like polite words um, at the end of, yeah. even at the start or the end of your sentence, but don't use it too much. <laughs> don't say, yeah. so if you're going to say please, just say it once. Don't say it like three times in the every time. Yeah, yeah. every time you forget yeah. sentence. Yeah, and yeah. usually it's better at the end of the sentence rather than the start. Like yeah. I would like to request for some holiday time, please. Not please. I would like to request some holiday time. It's yeah. usually be comes across better at the end of the at the end of the sentence. End of the sentence. Yeah. Um, okay. it's a bit more natural. So what's the other thing that you can suggest, especially when you're attending an interview? So you have a Skype call or might be an interview like this. Mm -hmm. So how you can present your, not, not like uh, appearance wise, but I would ask you like how uh, you can present your English so that see, uh, as I have to say in India, it's so demanding that you must be uh, confident when you're speaking and at the same time, uh, you need to prove that you have good communication skills or strong communication mm -hmm. skills. So what's that one thing which is very important uh, when you're talking or when you're speaking with someone? Um, in interviews, so I used to come across as confident. You want to use confident language. But, um, and also like the same with speaking with managers, being clear and concise. And often yeah. emphasizing things words that they like to hear are things like um i'm adaptable or i have if you don't have skills in that particular area or experience in that particular job you're applying for then you can say a term we use is transferable skills so this means okay. although i don't have the experience in this job i have skills from another job which which i can right. use so things like adaptable, transferable skills, these are words they like to hear quite often. Um, right. And using words to describe yourself, like I'm efficient, I'm productive. Also words to do with, they like to hear that you're good at working on your own and you're also what we right. call a team player is another term that's right, used, yeah. Right, so they want to hear yeah. terms like this um, to to explain, right. like they, they like hearing like this. Quite a common question they ask, you might know, is like, can you tell me about yourself as well? Yeah, <laughs> that's a very first question and a very yeah. common question. And even many people do face a lot of problem like answering it. So I feel that it's very important to know like the first and the, uh, I mean, very important question in an yeah. interview, like tell me about you what you need to include especially uh, you need not uh, tell about every ed education no. I mean qualification that you possess mm -hmm. what's the highest qualification you need to mention yeah. that so most of the people they don't know so they try to mention everything yeah. that they have done. <laughs> yeah it should be like maybe two three sentences telling them about yourself because they have the CV so you don't need to they don't need to say it all over again. Okay. But yeah, usually good mention yeah. a qualification and something about your skills, which they cannot get from reading the CV. So that's when you might say things like about being adaptable or transferable skills. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. a that's that's really important that i appreciate you really those two are very important uh, and i came to know about transferable skills and all because that uh, is very important mm -hmm. right because if you if you don't know an, uh, which is a new mm -hmm. skill to you or which is a new job to you so if you are like uh, facing difficulty or an issue with that then uh, it should it, it should uh, help you like if you know something that you can uh, bring out from your old job and Use put it. that 
in a new, a yeah, new it's quite an important one to know. Yeah, uh, I think our t- is 